In this lesson, we'll be discussing how to determine the overall acidity or basicity of salt solutions. The question reads, determine if the solution formed by each salt is acidic, basic, or neutral. So pretend that we have a solution containing Sr2 plus ions and chlorine ions. They come together and they form this salt, CrCl2. So Sr2 plus comes together with Cl minus. Let's begin with strontium. The strontium cation is the counter ion of a strong base. Think of SR being coupled with hydroxide in a molecule. And when it dissociates, it dissociates into SR and OH, where the SR is pH neutral. The chlorine anion is the conjugate base of a strong acid. Think of HCl. And when HCl dissociates, it completely dissociates into the hydrogen ions and chlorine anions. It too is pH neutral. As a result, when Cr and Cl come together, we can say that together they are pH neutral. Moving on to question B, we have aluminum bromide. So let's write this down. Aluminum three plus plus bromide. And that has a negative charge. Bromine is usually bonded with hydrogen, forming bromic acid, a strong acid. Strong acids, remember, completely dissociate into their respective ions. The anion here doesn't acquire any of those acidic properties though, so it's pH neutral. Aluminum 3 plus on the other hand acts as a weak acid. This is because aluminum is a small yet heavily charged cation, and it is neither an alkali metal nor an alkaline earth metal. This is why it behaves as an acid. It can actually ionize water. So when a weak acid and a pH neutral molecule come together, it forms something that is acidic. Let's move on to question C. This molecule is a combination of the anion NO3 minus and the cation CH3NH3. The CH3NH3 plus ion is a conjugate acid of a weak base, and so we can say that it's acidic. The NO3 anion is a conjugate base of a strong acid, HNO3 and therefore it is pH neutral. Because remember what I said about strong acids, they completely dissociate. Because we have an acid and a pH neutral anion, we can say that the molecule in a solution is acidic. For question D, the Na plus cation is a counter ion for a strong base and is therefore pH neutral. The CHO2 minus anion is the conjugate base of a weak acid and is therefore basic. Coming together, it forms a basic solution. Finally, for question E, we have NH4 plus and fluorine anions. This, as you can see, has an extra proton. This means that it acts as a conjugate acid now, and so it's a weak acid. This one, on the other hand, the fluorine anion, serves as the weak base, or the conjugate base. And the reason why is because it's likely derived from hydrofluoric acid, a weak acid. And with weak acids, they incompletely dissociate, forming conjugate bases with actual basic properties. So we have somewhat of a dilemma, where we have an acid coming with a base. To determine the overall acidity or basicity of this solution, you have to compare the Ka for the acidic cation with the Kb constant of the basic anion. And here's what I mean. Remember the relationship that Kw is equal to Ka times Kb, we know what Kw is, it's 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 14. Now we find the Kb of NH3 that can be found in a table. If you find it in the table, it should be 1.76 times 10 to the power of negative five. Let's find out what K sub A is as a result. So dividing both sides by this number, we have 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 14 divided by 1.76 times 10 to the power of negative five. This should give us 5.68, and not taking into account significant figures, times 10 raised to the power of negative 10. So we now have k sub a, and we'll be comparing this to k sub b. Whichever one is greater, that determines whether it's acidic or basic. So let's do this exact same thing for the fluorine anions. Kw is equal to ka times kb. Again, 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 14 is equal to the Ka of HF times Kb. The Ka of HF for fluoric acid 
is 3.5 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Dividing both sides by this value, we should end up with a KB value equaling 2, 2.9 times 10 to the power of negative 11. As you can see, this number is bigger than KB. Therefore, this solution is acidic. And there you have it. Five examples on how to determine the overall acidity or basicity of a salt solution. If you'd like to see the solutions to question number two, make sure you watch part two of this series where we cover those questions. We'll see you soon.